In this chapter, we're going to continue our overview of Python. And we're going to start in this first lesson by looking at one of the two major data structures in Python, the list. We're going to use the interactive interpreter for this lesson. So let's load that interpreter now. First thing I want to do is make it possible to clear the screen. So we import OS and then we type OS system CLS, which is our Windows command to clear the screen. So now we can clear the screen. So let's begin by creating a simple list. I'm going to create this list of one of my favorite rock bands, the Beatles. We can check the elements of a list by just typing the list name, or we can also print it using the print function. Let's clear the screen. One of the first things we might want to do is determine how many items are in a list. So we can do that using the len function, len, which means length, and that tells us that we have four elements. Knowing that, we can use the number of elements in each individual number or each individual index to return one or more parts of the list. So for example, if I want to see what's stored in the first position, I can type Beatles sub zero and that returns John. So Beatles one, like so. And I can do that for all four elements. Notice that the first element is always in position zero. We can also return slices. So for example, if I want to see all the Beatles but the first, I can type one colon, and that returns Paul, George, and Ringo. If I want to see the first two, I'll type zero, two, and that returns John and Paul. I can type Beatles two, four, and get George and Ringo. And we can get slices just like that for any other adjacent elements that we want to get. Let's clear the screen again. If we want to see what our list looks like in sorted order, we can use the built-in sorted function to return the list in sorted order, though it doesn't permanently change it. To permanently change it, we'll have to do it like so, beatles.sort. Now the list has been permanently sorted into alphabetical order, which you may or may not want. You can also reverse the order the same way using the reverse function. Now the beetles are reversed. Let's put it back into the original order. Just take me a second to do that. Let's clear the screen again. If we want to add to our list, we can use the append command. Append will place an item at the end of the list. So we'll add the drummer before Ringo was added to the group, Pete for Pete Best. And then if we want to remove the last element of a list, we can use the pop function which returns the deleted item. And now we see that our list is back to the original list. If we want to find an item in a list, we can get an index value. We better not use the actual word. Let's use index equals. So that's in position two. So once we know that position, then if we want to get rid of an element, we can. Let's put Pete Best back in. Let's find his index. And then let's delete him. And actually the way we do that is we type delete and then the index value. And we see that he's gone. So those are the ways that we work with lists. That's not a comprehensive list. There are of course other things that you can do. But I think what I've shown you here is enough to make it possible for you to work with lists in most of the ways that you're going to. So now we're ready to move to the next lesson where we're going to talk about working with the other major data structure in Python, the dictionary.